What's up guys, Robert back. I'm coming to you from Pecos, Texas down here, um, out in the oil field. And uh, I got a special treat for you guys this week. This week I'm going to be talking about my pay. How much do I get paid driving one of these water trucks here every single week? So in this video, I want to go ahead and break down my check stubs for you guys. I wanna do at least three or four of them so you guys can see how much they vary depending on how many hours that you actually work um, and kind of what you do for the week. Now it is important to know that I do drive a water truck. So depending on what you do out here, whether it's fuel, sand, water, frack, drilling, whatever the trucking job is out here, it will differ from my pay and what I get paid every single week. So just keep that in mind so that you guys know that just because what I get paid may not be what you might get paid, but I'm just wanna give you an idea of what you could expect when you come out here to the oil fields. So guys, go ahead and stay tuned. You guys wanna hear this video right here. And also, if you don't mind, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, turn on that bell notification so that you guys get notified every single time I post a video on here. Man, I need a haircut really bad. Got my hair, it's all grown out and everything. Need a haircut, man. I'm out here two weeks, I'm tired. Getting a little bit of shabby. Go ahead and go home and take care of myself. That's what she said. guys before we get into the video i told you guys in the previous video that i wanted to get into doing some giveaways for you guys um just kind of give back to you guys and show my appreciation for subscribing so that's what we're going to do i'm giving away this headset right here it's a uh, vons tech head wireless headset with microphone and uh, this one can be yours i know it's not a blue pair but hopefully as we begin to get more subscribers for the channel Hopefully I can do bigger giveaways for you guys, but for right now, this is what I'm giving away. So to be able to win this headset, all you have to do is make sure that you are subscribed to the channel. Go ahead and hit that like button on this video and make sure you comment it down in the comment section. And then I will be pretty much by the end of the week um, commenting on you with my email address so that I can get your information of where to send this headset to. And the winner will be chosen at random, so whoever's randomly in the comments, I'll just pick one, and then we will go ahead and uh, give you my email address in the comments so that you guys can give me your information so I can send this out to you guys. All right, so now that that's over with, let's go ahead and get into the video. All right, guys, when it comes to actually pay and benefits, there's two things that I look at when it comes to any company that I go to work for, um, whether that be over the road company or an oil field company. Now that two things are going to be the pay, the net pay that I take home every single week and also the home time that I'm getting every single month. Now one thing to consider when you're working for an oil field company is that you're probably going to end up working more hours than you would with a traditional trucking company. Now if you guys don't remember, truck drivers are limited to 70 hours per week legally. Now, working in the oil field, there are ways around this. There's a lot of other uh, certain stipulations that only uh, benefit people who work in the oil field. But I'll go ahead and get into that in a later video of that. That's, that's a whole other animal. So I'll go ahead and um, touch on that a little bit more in a separate video because it's, it's going to be a lot. It'll drag this video out for probably 45 minutes. But I don't want to do that to you guys. So since you guys are going to be working a ton of hours, it's best to make sure that you're actually getting the adequate home time uh, for the driver to rest, recover uh, from such a long work week. And um, it's, it's not possible to, to work so many hours and especially when it's not technically driving. Um, yeah, you do drive a truck to the location or, or a well site or whatever, but most of the time you're working extremely hard on that well site. So just keep that in mind that whenever you're looking at an oil field company, you need to make sure that even though you're working a lot of hours and it's a lot of money, make sure that you're actually getting the proper home time. That is very important for pretty much your sanity and also your body, uh, making sure that you're taking care of yourself. So with the company that I'm working with now, I work 10 days and then I get four days off. So I'm at least getting uh, about eight days off per month 
uh, to spend with my family to rest, recover uh, from the long work weeks. So that's very important to me. So for our video, I have pulled three check stubs from the time that I started working at this company in November. Um, we're gonna look at three check stubs. Now, one check stub is gonna be my absolute best week that I've had here. Another check stub is gonna be one of my worst weeks that I've had here. And then I'm gonna pick another check stub that's about average for any work week. And this is pretty much what I can expect to bring home every single week. So now the part that you guys have all been waiting for, let's go ahead and dive into my check stubs. All right, guys, so here is a check stub. Let me, uh, I'm gonna zoom in on these because uh, I don't think you guys will be able to see that. I'm actually doing this from my phone. Um, but anyway, um, this is going to be one of my best weeks, uh, best checks right here. Um, before we get started, I have blocked out all of my personal information. So that's going to be my actual mailing address um, that I don't want getting out um, into the public. Uh, but anyway, this is going to be one of the better weeks that we've had. Um, we'll go ahead and run through this very quickly. Um, so anyway, the, the starting period is from 1128 to 124. Um, and then I worked actually 138 and a half hours that week. Um, and if we come over here, we actually have, um, you know, obviously our benefits just be like our, our vacation time. And then if you right here, we have our regular pay at 40, 40 hours, we get paid $24 an hour. Um, over time we got paid 98 and a half at $36 an hour. Um, and for some reason there's a holiday pay here, but I don't exactly know what that is for. Um, and if you look out right underneath that, you obviously have our taxes, federal, uh, social security and Medicare. Um, now at the bottom, this is probably what everybody wants to, wants to look at. So total pay, um, was $4,506, um, minus our taxes, our taxes that were pulled out was $1,069 and 52 cents. Uh, leaving us with a net pay of $3,436.48. All right. Um, so this is one of the checks that I had from since November. Um, and this was one of the best weeks that I've had. Um, now with this right here, 138 and a half hours, that's pretty much, that, that's a lot for somebody to do. Um, and not saying that you would do that every week. I know I can't do that every week. Um, this was just one of those, um, one of those weeks that just ended up having more hours than, than not. Uh, so anyway, that's, uh, that's one of the best weeks that I've had. So now we'll go on to one of the worst weeks that I've had. All right, guys. So now this is one of the worst weeks that we've had or, or that I've had, um, working at this company since November. Um, so if we look right here, um, uh, Period began 1212 to 1218. This was right before Christmas. So everything was starting to slow down. Um, and it usually slows down in the oil field about a week before the holidays or before everybody goes home. Um, so that week I worked 72 and a half hours. Um, and if we come over here, everything is the same as you guys can see. The regular pay, 40 hours. I got paid at a rate of $24 an hour. Overtime, I only made... 32 and a half hours overtime at $36 an hour. And for some reason, that holiday pay is still there. I'm not sure exactly why. Um, I don't know if that had something to do with Christmas or a bonus or whatever, but I'm not sure. $192 is pretty insignificant. Um, if you, if you ask me on, you know, anyway, um, like I said, uh, taxes, federal, social security, Medicare, those are your taxes. Now coming down to the bottom, what everybody wants to see. Now, this is one of the worst weeks and uh, is partly due for me working only four days that week. And, uh, you know, obviously we didn't have a lot of work doing the holiday season. But anyway, total pay, this is gross pay, was $2,130. And taxes that came out was $353.39. Now, the net pay, this is the pay that actually went into my bank. Um, was $1,776.61, $1776. There you go. All right, but anyway, that was one of the worst weeks that I've had out here. Um, and, and not saying that it's a bad week. It's actually a pretty good week at 72 and a half hours. That's about normal for any truck driver um, out on over the road or whatever locally. Um, that's about normal, 72 hours. All right, so anyway... Um, 1,776, that was a bad week 
um, or what I would consider a bad week for the oil field. All right, so let's get into an average week of what I expect to be made or to be making every single week. Um, so we'll go ahead and get into the average week. All right, guys, so this is an average paycheck for me. Um, so average, uh, this is about what we make every single week. Um, and it varies. It could be a little less or a little more. Um, just really depends. But anyway, everything's the same uh, for this week. Period began 12-26 to 1-1-2023. Uh, so this is right after we came back from the holidays. Um, I think I came back on the 27th or something like that. Or I might have came back on the 26th. I'm not exactly for sure. But as you can see, um, I worked 107 and a half hours that week. And we come over here. Regular pay, we have 40 hours at $24 an hour. Overtime pay, 67 and a half hours at $36 an hour. All right. So same thing, taxes, federal, social security, Medicare. Those are your tax deductions. And coming down here to what really matters for everybody is our pay for this week. So total pay for that week was gross uh, $3,390 and $707.47 came out for taxes, which left us about $2,682 for the week um, going into our bank account. So that's what an average week for me looks like is about anywhere between $2,400 to $2,700. Really depends, um, give or take a few hundred dollars. So that's about your average average pay for an oil field vacuum truck driver, okay, guys? So like I said, if you guys have any questions, leave them down in the comment section. I try my best uh, to answer every single one of your questions. So like I said, if you got any questions about my check stub or you want to see more, go ahead and leave it in the comment section. I'll make another video on it. All right, guys? So there you go. So there you guys go. That was an in-depth look at what you can expect to make as a truck driver working in the oil field. Remember that there are a ton of oil field companies out here for truck drivers. Some may pay more, some may pay less. It really just depends on the company. Just remember when you're taking a job out here in the oil field, make sure that you find a company that fits your needs. Always look at about how much they're going to be paying you every week and then also how much home time are you getting to recover from those long work weeks. Always remember that it's not always about how much money you're bringing home from, uh, from, from your job or from your work or wherever you may work. It's all about getting home. From my time in the oil field, I have seen plenty of accidents. I've seen my fair share of accidents of guys just being overworked um, and they don't always make it home uh, alive. And so you always got to remember that the money is not everything, okay? So you really need to look at that part of it. Make sure that you're not being overworked out here because it's very possible that a company can take advantage of you because really they're looking at how much profit they can make. They really don't care about the driver or anything like that. So always keep that in mind that you want to make it home, okay? So that's the best piece of advice that I can give you from this video. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave the video there on that note. So make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel. We're gonna be going ahead and doing this giveaway. So make sure you guys are commenting and then I will be uh, commenting my email address so that you guys can give me your information on how you can win this right here. Um, as far as like your address and where I can send this to. So anyway, so make sure you guys are looking out for that. All right, and I hope everybody has a peaceful, um, let's see, it's gonna be Monday. So make sure you guys have a peaceful Monday and until next time, make sure you guys are keeping it between the ditches.